In practical applications, when we do, uh, when we perform filtering operation, most of the time we'll be having LTI system. So input is x of n, impulse response is h of n, and output is y of n, right? So practically speaking, the length of the input sequence will be in terms of thousands, thousands of samples. Okay, depending upon what is the sampling frequency we use, the length of the input uh, sequence will be in terms of thousand. Okay, whereas the impulse response, depending upon what is the order of the filter we are designing, it's a very few, less than hundred in terms of hundred. Okay, so in terms of not in, not even in terms of hundred, in terms of tens, depending upon what is the order of the filters we are going to use, and we want to perform the filtering operation of this in the sense I have to get the y of n which is nothing but output of an LTI system right so this is nothing but linear convolution linear convolution if this is the case how do we filter it right so that is what we are going to discuss filter of, filtering of long input sequence we also call it as block convolution in order to perform the filtering of long input sequence, we have two method. One is overlap and save method. The other one is overlap and add method. Uh, we discuss overlap save method first. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss how we can perform overlap and add method. Okay, first one. So say say x of n, the length of the input sequence. We'll assume that it's a very lengthy sequence so its length is ls okay so length of the input sequence its length is this total length is ls in terms of thousand and h of n the length of the impulse response is this length is very short usually it is very short and we'll call it as capital m where capital M is length length of impulse response h of n this ls is length of the input signal x of n uh, if you are performing uh, th uh, the filtering in transform domain so circular convolution takes place if I want to perform a circular convolution of these two sequence what is that I need to make sure so first thing I need to make sure that both the length should be same both input sequence and impulse response. Uh, in this case, since both the sequ uh, sequence length is not same, so I need to pad appropriate number of zeros to h of n, right? So say the length of h of n is thousand, and the length of impulse response is just say five. So how many zeros I need to pad? I need to pad 999, right? So 1000 minus five, which is equal to 995 zeros. I need to pad to the shorter length sequence so that both the length are same and then I need to perform the circular convolution right so which is very tedious so what we do is we are going to segment it segment the in very length uh, we are going to segment the input sequence into shorter length so say we call it as this is the segment 1 this is the segment 2 this is segment 3 this is segment 4 5 6, 7, so dot 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 say segment L and this length of the segment is will uh, it is L capital L is the length of the segment so it, it will be same all the segments length will be same which is capital L so this length are L fine so where where L is given by n minus m plus 1 so where l is given by n minus m plus 1 and n is called as block length block length what is m m is nothing but length of length of impulse response h of n 
right so block length uh, they usually give while solving the problem they give us the block length if they don't give we have to assume the block length that we will see how do we assume it later okay uh, from this equation what is block length n is given by l plus m minus 1 okay so in terms of block length if i want to write the equation it is n is equal to l plus m minus 1 now th these individual segments are converted into block and we call it as x1 of n is the first block x2 of n is the second block x3 of n is the third block and this goes on so say we'll call it as x m of n we have small to m number of blocks right so we are, uh, we are converting these individual segments into blocks okay and what is block block length is l plus m minus 1 and what is l l is n minus m plus 1 now how do we convert these individual segments into block that is the next question right so what we do we take this first segment this is the first segment segment 1 and we we concatenate zeros at the beginning of the first segment so how many zeros i am concatenating it so how many what is the length of segment this is l right okay so total length of this block should be capital n right so l is the segment length so how many zeros i need to pad now so i have l n is what l plus m minus 1 i have l here so rest of the samples is m minus 1 so i need to pad m minus 1 zeros here so that the total length of this block is capital n okay so fine the next block is actually the second segment is copied here segment 2 segment 2 is copied here which is the length of l and last m minus 1 samples of the first block is copied to the first m minus 1 of the second block similarly the third block is formed by copying the segment 3 at the end this is segment 3 its length is l and how do i get uh, m minus 1 samples so last m minus 1 samples of the previous block is copied to the first m minus 1 samples of the current block so that the total length of this is n similarly the total length of this is n so and so, so, since it is a block convolution all the block length should be capital n and and so on similarly the last block is also this is segment l and the previous previous m minus 1 sample is copied here okay where the length is capital n S since i am performing circular convolution i have to make sure that length of h of n is also should be equal to capital n okay so what is the length of m uh, length of h of n it is m right so length of h of n is this m so how many zeros i need to pad here so that i get length of this h of n as equal to block length which is n n so how many zeros i need to pad here so here so i have m so l minus 1 0 so i need to pad so l minus 1 0 so i need to pad so that the length total length is capital n so i repeat the procedure once again i will be having a very lengthy input sequence i will be having very short impulse response uh, in order to perform circular convolution of a lengthy sequence with a short response it is very tedious so what we do we are going to segment the input uh, sequence length where its uh, individual segments size is capital l now we are going to convert these individual segments into blocks uh, with the size of capital n uh, how do we do that first segment goes to the end of the block and the beginning of the block is padded with zeros how many zeros m minus one zeros now second block is formed by second segment at the end whereas first m minus 1 samples is copied from the previous block again here third segment third block is formed by copying the third block and first m minus 1 sample is copied from the previous block last m minus 1 sample and this continues i have to make sure that h of n length also capital n so what we do we, at the end we are going to uh, pad l minus 1 0 so that the length is l plus m minus 1 so when, once we are done with this, we are going to perform circular convolution of first block with the impulse response h of n which is x1 of n endpoint circularly convolved with h of n.
y2 of n is equal to x2 of n which circularly convolved with h of n y3 of n which is equal to x3 of n circularly convolved with h of n and what is its length what is the length of a circular convolved sequence it is always length of both lengths should be same right what is the length here capital n here capital n here so its length is also equal to capital n similarly this length is also its length is capital n so this is also capital n so dot 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 so y l of n because i have l number of segments so i will be having l number of block so x l of n n point circularly convolved with h of n so this is also has the length capital n okay now so this is not our output our output is our final output y of n is actually so we have to take uh, we have to discard all the outputs first m minus 1 samples you have to discard outputs first m minus 1 samples you need to discard these two this uh, m minus 1 samples so discard all the first m minus 1 samples of the individual output blocks has to be discarded and the rest of the blocks l samples the rest of the l samples has to be concatenated so this is the l1 this l1 and this is l2 this l2 and this is this l3 and so on this is l l so this is how we get the final output so we will take up an example and we will see how do we calculate or how do we find uh, filtering of long input sequence using overlap same method